Charlie Wachtel, David Rabinowitz, and Kevin Wilmot. Behind me! This is the first Oscar in nomination for Charlie Wachtel, David Rabinowitz, and Kevin Wilmot. It's the first win and fifth nomination for Spike Lee. The 2020 presidential election is around the corner. Let's all mobilize. Let's all be on the right side of history. Make the, make the moral choice between love versus hate. Let's do the right thing. You know I had to get that in there. Olivia Colman. <laughs> this is the first Oscar and nomination for Olivia Colman. This is hilarious. <laughs> God, Oscar. <laughs> um, to be in this category with these extraordinary women and Glenn Close, I, you've been my idol for so long and this is not how I, I wanted it to be and I, I think you're amazing. I love you very much. <laughs> And the Oscar goes to Rami, Rami Malek. Malek. This is the first Oscar and nomination. Listen, we made a film about a gay man, an immigrant who uh, lived his life just unapologetically himself. And the fact that I'm celebrating him and this story with you tonight is, is proof that we're longing for, for stories like this. Alfonso Cuaron. I want to thank the Academy for recognizing a film centered around an indigenous woman, one of the 70 million domestic workers in the world without, works, without work rights, a character that historically had been rele re relegated in the background in cinema. And the Oscar goes to Green Book. Green Book has five Academy Award nominations. The whole story is about love. It's about loving each other despite our differences and finding out the truth about who we are. We're the same people. We're far from the shallow now. 